So after you submit your head to a collection bid, if you're in a deer management area, uh, staff from the Pennsylvania Game Commission will come out to that area, usually several times a week, and they will take those deer, they will age and sex the deer, and they also uh, remove the lymph nodes from them. Once those lymph nodes have been removed and assigned a Pennsylvania, uh, a Pennsylvania number, they um, put that into their database, which attaches it to the hunter that submitted it so that we're able to get those results to you. And they ship those lymph nodes to us. And again, those come several times a week. And those the samples are then processed by us, by either ELISA. Um, and if there is a potential positive, then they go on for confirmation by immunohistochemistry. Those results then get released back to the Game Commission, and then the Game Commission will release the results to the hunter. Our typical day starts with uh, processing samples that had arrived the day before. They usually arrive around right around noon time, and we can see at this time of year, um, you know, up, you know, 500 to 1,000 samples per day. So we work really hard to get them um, all accessioned into our lab information management system. Um, get them sorted, get them, uh, you know, stickered and processed. And the first thing we do then is we trim those samples and they go then into the ELISA. So after we detect a positive by ELISA, which is our screening method, so that we're able to do a large number of samples um, as quickly as possible, we then confirm them. We do it in triplicate, so we do two more tests with ELISA. And if it still remains positive by ELISA, those uh, lymph nodes are then um, sent for processing by IHC or um, immunohistochemistry. And what that enables us to do is not even, not just say that there were potentially prions present, we want to ensure that there's not any form of, you know, contamination or something wrong with one of the, um, you know, components of an assay in the ELISA. So the immunohistochemistry allows us to actually see the microscopic detail of and the anatomy of that lymph node and that we can see very specific cellular staining of that prion protein that's specific to this disease and that's read out by a pathologist that ensures that the um, diagnosis is correct. Our chronic wasting disease testing is a part of the Pennsylvania Animal Diagnostic Lab System that is accredited with the AAVLD or the American Association of Veterinary Laboratory Diagnosticians. And through that accreditation process, we require that all of our technicians are proficiency tested for chronic wasting disease, that we are following a set of regulations that are um, standardized across the board. So all labs that are in this, um, that are a part of AAVLD follow the exact same protocol and follow these exact same standards to ensure that we have reproducibility and traceability of all of the testing that we do. So the samples here, once they arrive into our lab, um, depending on the time of year, so if you're not in the middle of hunting season, we can usually get those results back to the Game Commission in you know, one to three days. This time of year, just because of the sheer number of samples and the time it takes to trim and process all of them, um, we usually run somewhere between five and seven days. Uh, we can go all the way up to 21 days, but that very infrequently happens. And so we get those results. And once we're done with those results, we actually save um, any remaining tissue um, that we use for some of our um, research that's going on in the state of Pennsylvania. Not only does submitting the head for sampling in, you know, inform the hunter um, what the disease status of that deer is, but it also provides really valuable information to the Pennsylvania Game Commission so that they are aware if this disease is spreading, if it's growing, if it's in a new area, and that really helps them make management decisions that it's just gonna better um, deer and deer hunting and you know, the enjoyment for the hunters in the state of Pennsylvania.